in this video, I'm gonna walk you through how to build your dream team. So if we are following along here on the property checklist, we're at the point now where we are ready to build our dream team. We're talking like our cleaners, runners, lawn care, pest control, photographer, all of those positions. We wanna get them in our back pocket so that when we can actually utilize them when we need them, all right? So in order to find the dream team, I'm gonna be walking you through three different methods. Before I do that though, we need to keep this process organized. So the way that we're gonna do this is we are going to go to building the dream team. Okay, this is gonna be one of our templates here. We're gonna press the three dots. We're gonna press duplicate. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna drag it into our property folder. Okay, so just like that in our property folder, we're gonna click on it and we're gonna name this building the dream team. And we're gonna call this Pinehurst, North Carolina. So whatever city you're in, you can name it that city. The beautiful thing about this is if you have more properties in that area or you get more properties in the future, you can use basically the same dream team and the same list that you have. So since we only, this is our first property we're saying now, we're just gonna, you know, call it, call it this. But again, you can use this later on too, which is cool. So we have this sheet here and on this document, we're gonna have a place where we can write down all of the people that we're gonna be contacting. So we're gonna, we're gonna use the three methods I'm about to show you to find cleaners, we're gonna do that for to find handyman, runners. The process is gonna be the same for all of them, okay? Then you're gonna have your separate organization system for each and every one of them. That way we can gather information first and then we can actually reach out to these people to see if they're a good fit. As far as reaching out to cleaners, as far as reaching out to handyman, all these things, we're gonna do that in a separate video. So check out the next video for that. This video is really gonna be about gathering potential cleaners, potential handymen. And then once you have this list filled out from the thing I'm about to show you in this video, then you can go ahead and actually watch the next video and outreach to these people. So let's start with the three methods for gathering contacts. We'll start with Google, number one. So let's just say we're looking for a house cleaner in Pinehurst, North Carolina, right? And this, this process is gonna be the same for handymen. It's gonna be the same for runners, everybody here. But let's do house cleaners first. So one note with house cleaners. Yeah, this is, this is a, a rule that really only applies to house cleaners. And is that, that's that we don't want a company that is super professional, super large. And what I, what I mean by that is we want to work with more mom and pop operations. At least that's what I personally like to work with. So someone like Mary Maids, right? So we go to their website. It's a really nice, beautiful website. And their main priority is making money, okay? The people that I like to work with, I want them to actually have a personal connection with me and my team, right? And that you want to have a personal connection with your cleaner. And I've found that using big companies like a Mary Maid is very hard to do. So I like to work with people who have um, either less Google ratings. I don't really need them to have a professional website. I don't really care about that. I just want somebody um, who is somewhere online or to start with this strategy, we want to find them online like Seymour Cleaning LLC, all right? Like they, let, let's check out their website. So let's check it out. So it looks pretty basic, right? Like these would be people that I'd be interested in at least having a conversation with. So what we're gonna do here is we are going to copy their phone number, okay? We're gonna go to the, the Dream Team sheet. We're gonna put in their phone number here. We're gonna put in their name. So they're... Seymour Cleaning LLC. And we're gonna put in their website. If they don't have a website, no worries. We won't put it in, but they do. So we'll put that there, okay? And then we're gonna continue doing this exact process to find um, even more cleaners before we do outreach to them. So I don't wanna just go ahead and call this person. I wanna first go through the process, right? Like Happy Pine Cleaning Co. Six ratings. Let's check out their website, right? Looks pretty solid. Cool. So let's give them, let's, let's give them, let's give them a shot. So we'll put, we'll add them to our list. All right. And in, in this initial phase, this is what it's all about. It's just adding people to your list that you then can go outreach to, but we're not going to do that outreach process yet until we have a full list of people. So let's, let's copy their phone number. Cool. So again, we're going to do this exact process for Google. Okay, we're going to continue looking for as many people as we can. Add them to the list here. If we need to add 
another space, we'll just press this plus button down below and we can continue to add. Um, I would say if you can get at least 10 um, total, that would be great. That doesn't mean you have to have 10 from Google because I'm going to show you two other methods as well. But at bare minimum, you want to have 10 people on your list. Okay. Just to show you two real quick, we can use the exact same process for handymen. So I'm going to look up handymen in Pinehurst. The only difference with handymen is I don't care necessarily, you know, the fanciness of the website. Same thing for like plumbing companies, photographers. I kind of want them to have a fancier website, to be honest. So that that rule of not being fancy um, really only applies to cleaners. Now, if a handyman or a plumbing company isn't fancy, that's totally cool too. It's just that for cleaners, I definitely don't want them to be fancy. All right, so we see Justin's handyman service. We'll copy that for under handyman. Okay, we'll, um, let's grab their phone number. So it's not showing me their full, full phone number, so let me click on it here. There we go. Oops, it's not letting me highlight it. So let me go to their website real quick because I need to grab their website information anyways. And okay, they don't have a website, it's not popping up. So no worries at all. What we'll do is go to website and press on and just do NA. But we will want to get their, get their phone number. So let me just write that down. Manually, 908-482. And then 2-9815. 9815-482. So these columns on the right, you can just leave them for now. This is stuff that we're going to gather after. So we're going to literally do this process on Google. That's going to be our first strategy to get people for cleaners. And you're going to get their name, website, phone number, name, website, phone number. You're going to do this for all of the positions on this sheet. Okay. So then Google's one strategy that we're going to do. The second strategy we're going to talk about is Facebook groups. Okay. So we go to Facebook. And what we're going to do here is we're going to look for Facebook groups in our city. So this doesn't have to be Airbnb related. It can be Airbnb related, but it doesn't have to be. So let's just go ahead and type in Pinehurst. And then let's just press search here. And we'll go to groups. And chances are you're already part of a group. If you're not part of a group, no big deal. But let's go first to our Vacation Rental Alliance. This is just one that I happen to be part of. So I'm going to open this up. And there's two options here. The first option is I can make a post saying, hey, does anyone have any favorite handymen or cleaners? Or I can put in whatever position I'm looking for. I can ask people in here. And you can see my little picture here. I'm in this group. The, the second option is we can just press this, use the search bar and search for um, positions already. So we'll type in like handyman. Oops, handyman, for example. And we'll see if people already are looking for a handyman. Like this post was made in December. And someone said, in the search of a reasonable handyman who understands our business and time constraints. So let's go to the comments. Okay, let's go to view all answers. So this person said they've used Justin before. He has good reviews on Nextdoor. So let's go ahead, copy his information. Okay, let's, that's the, oops, not under cleaners, under handyman. So Justin, we don't have his website, but we do have his phone number because someone put their phone number in there. So. Let's go ahead and copy it. I want to say NA. Cool. So now we got one, one handyman option there. Uh, we can keep going down. We see someone, a lot of people are recommending. Uh, so Crystal, her husband is the handyman. So we can, we can message them if you want. We see someone giving out someone's phone number again. So that's even easier for us. All right. Let's just, oops, let's just jot down their, their name put their phone number in. So you guys get the process for this. You can do this for every single position. And before you make a post about a position, I definitely recommend um, just doing a quick little search in the group for the positions that you need, right? You can do the same thing for cleaners, looking for a house cleaner, right? So instead of outreaching, feel free to just um, look for the names in the comment section, okay? So once we've done that, we will enhance our list. So we're gonna do that for cleaners. We're gonna do that for handymen. We're gonna do it for runners. Literally all of these, you're gonna be doing this exact same process for. I'm just giving you a taste of it here. All right, next up, we're gonna be talking about thumbtack.com. This is probably my favorite one because it's essentially like Google on steroids. 
kind of like on Google, how you can search for handymen, cleaners, all these different positions and people pop up. Thumbtacks, basically the same way, except the people, the vendors have to pay to be on the platform. It's free for you, but it's paid for the vendors to be on the platform. So they're typically a higher caliber of service and I've gotten really good results for them. So we have a promo link for you down below where you're going to get $50 just to try Thumbtack. And to be completely honest with you, I use Thumbtack for literally everything. I don't think there's a position I have not hired on Thumbtack for. And I mean that sincerely. So click the link down below and press on claim my $50. Okay, it's not going to cost you anything. It's just free money. And then go ahead and create your account. So you type in your name. All right, type in your email. Okay. Your password and then go ahead and press on create account. So once your account is created, you get brought to a screen that looks something like this. And then we'll begin the process for finding our vendors. So what we're going to do here is we're going to type in the position we need. Again, I'm going to go for handyman and press on search. Okay, put in the zip code. So I'm going to go ahead and put in our Pinehurst zip code. So put in whatever zip code is in your area and press on search. And it's going to show us seven handyman in our area. So what I'm looking for here is I just want a couple of good reviews. So I'm, if I'm scrolling through, I see a lot of people who have a couple of good reviews. And then I see this one on the bottom with one four-star review. I'm not going to reach out to them. There's plenty of other options. So let's go ahead and start on the top here. They have a lot of good reviews, which I like. So there's two options for reaching out to these people. First option is sometimes they put their phone number right here in the description. So if they do, go ahead, copy that phone number and put it onto our dream team list here. And we can put in their phone, their, their name, Bob Electrical and Handyman Service. Okay. And then we'll just say NA for the website. So that's one option. If they have their phone number there, awesome. Feel free to, to use it. If they don't have a website, so we're going to go ahead and press on message. And what we're going to do is tell this pro briefly what you're looking for. So we actually have a script for you guys to use. And whether you're doing this for a handyman, whether you're doing this for um, a cleaner, whether you're doing this for whatever position that you're looking for, you can basically use the same script and just make it custom. So we're going to go to our short-term rental toolkit under here, Thumbtack script. We also are going to leave this link down below to make it even easier for you guys. But you can go to the script, copy what's there, okay? And you can just paste it into the text box. And we're going to say, hey, Bob's Electric. My name is Bailey and I run short-term rental properties. Think Airbnb in the, we're going to say in the Pinehurst area. I'm looking to add, uh, and then he's a handyman. So we're going to say handyman, add handyman. But also too, if, if you're doing cleaners, this is where you'd put in, I'm looking to add cleaners to my vendor list. I'm, adding, I'm looking to add whatever to my vendor list to work with my properties. I'd love to chat with you briefly over the phone to see if you'd be a good fit for the tasks we're going to need. We're going to need to be done. I look forward to hearing from you and then your name. And then if you have a website, put it there. If not, no worries. And we're going to press on next. Now it's going to start to ask us a bunch of questions. And it's going to decide whether or not it wants to match us up with this person based on the answers we choose. So with our answers, we're going to want to be as broad as possible. And I'll show you what that means. So how much help do you need? We'll put less than two hours a week. We're going to say um, repairs. And then which areas of the home need work? For this example, we're just going to put um, bedroom. Press next. What needs work? We're going to say um, other. And we're just going to put in the, in the other, we're going to say um, varies per job. Okay, so we're going to keep it broad there. This is a home. And then when would you like the pro to start? Pick on, make sure there's five boxes selected. There's, you can only pick five. If you pick, pick more than five, It'll say you can only give five. So click on five boxes. Um, these could just be any random days. It doesn't really matter. And then press on next. What time of day do you prefer? 
Make sure all these are selected. Again, we just want to be as wide as possible. And then confirm the zip code. So that looks good. And then where should we send the pros responses? So put your email in here. And then press on next. And then contact info. So put in your contact info. It's going to say Thumbtack will only give your number to pros you want to hire for this project and future projects. Um, and if you want text updates, I'm going to say yes. Go ahead and put in your phone number there. And it says saving and sending your project details to Bob's Electrical. So cool. And then also it's going to say share your project with a few more pros. So heck yeah, we're going to do that. We're going to select these boxes and we're going to go ahead and contact pros. Okay, let's wait for it to send. So it's all set. You're, you're shared. You shared your project with four different pros. So what's next? Receive messages faster. Get notified as soon as pros respond. Um, your project details are saved. So we just press got it. All right, so you, now you're at the point where you sent out the inquiries to a couple different vendors and you're waiting to hear back from them. So what we'll do is now that we're on Thumbtack again, we'll go to, we'll go to login and you'll put your, ad, your email address here. And it says, looks like you have not created a password for your account yet. So if this pops up for you, all you'll do is press, please create one now. All right, so we'll put in our email there and we're gonna press a link to set a password. So let's hop over in our email to set a password. Cool, and it says, to secure your Thumbtack account, please set your password now. So great, we'll click on the link and we are going to just set a new password. Okay, and we'll press on save password. Okay, we'll do it one more time, make it extra secure. And then bam, there we go. So it says, welcome back, Bailey. Booking again is faster than ever. Okay, we got things popping up all over the place. All right, so what we're gonna do here is go to projects. Okay, and then we're gonna go to in progress. So it's gonna show us our in progress projects. So it shows us also the, the people that responded. So handymen, we can also go to our inbox and we're gonna see these responses as well. So we're gonna see two minutes ago, we got this response. So, hello, I'm Derek. I'll call soon to get more info about your project. My number is this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy his number. Again, I'm going to paste it on our dream team sheet. And his name is, what's his name? Well, this, and then his first name is Derek. So let me paste that in there. Derek. Cool. So now I have his phone number. I have his, um, his business name. And now I can go ahead and call him later. And then we can wait for other people to um, send us responses back. So you can periodically check that inbox to see when people are actually sending you back um, vendors. All right, so that's an overview of my top three strategies for finding vendors for your business. Again, make sure you use those three strategies. Fill these sheets out, sheets out completely. I, again, say a minimum of 10 per position. Okay, and then make sure you watch the future videos, the next videos for the specifics on what to actually say to these cleaners and these vendors when you're actually calling them over the phone.